Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look and review my very first Nintendo Switch game by famed developer of action and style, Platinum Games with Astral Chain. While waiting for the release of the Switch OLED, one of the exclusive games on the system that I always wanted once I saw this trailer was Astral Chain. Getting back to the roots of stylized action and gunplay like Bayonetta and Devil May Cry with a sci-fi storyline was something that I had to try in those action adventure hack and slash that is also a role playing RPG at heart. Astro Chain was developed by Platinum Games and released by Nintendo in 2019 as a Switch exclusive. The story is set in the future where Earth is being invaded by interdimensional creatures where a special police force is created to protect humanity. The story might be simple, but the design of the world Earth comes with heavy inspiration from various Japanese manga and cyberpunk themes combined. With the creator of Bayonetta, Hideki Kamiya, and the director Takahashi Tora of games like Nier, Automata, and Devil May Cry, you know you'll get a mix of top-rate action in a very stylized way with Astro Chain, and this game does not disappoint. The action-adventure RPG lets the player take control of either of two twins that are tasked with solving cases and investigating incidents that take place in the arc, which is the game's main world where you transverse in. What is a platinum video game without action, and not just action, but stylized? With Astral Chain, you are connected to creatures called Chimeras, where they are bound to the player by a chain. You fight in both ranged attacks and close combat on enemies you encounter. There is a bit of strategy, especially with chain counters, where you press B to dodge at just the right time, and it gives the player to do some flashy moves to take out your opponent. During combat, it can be disorienting having to lose track at times in the chaos. I found that most fun when you concentrate on one individual and most of those can be from the boss battles. Luckily, there are many options to, in difficulty for your enjoyment to play from Unchained, which pretty much guides you through the story, to Casual, where you engage in combat more, but you can also be only revived six times before ending the game. The hard mode allows total control in combat with only two revivals. During combat, you will learn bigger and better moves and using your chimera in getting through harder places and leveling up with experience. You are tasked to take on story missions and sometimes side missions with characters around you. Those open up world type scenarios really gets the player more into the story and attachment to the game's world and its understanding. The game's visuals really impress in this one, using character designs from famed Japanese manga artist Masakusa Katsura. The game leads heavily in the anime-inspired and look department. The colors are vibrant and jump out at you with a very futuristic feel within the world. The animation is solid and never buckles in, the, in both the dock version and portable modes. I find myself preferred to the dock version of the game. I felt using cell shaded 3D look really pops the character forward and really brings in the focus, especially with the comic book lines aesthetic style brought in. Very pleasing to the eye, especially on higher end television that really can display those colors properly. The English dub version of the game does look a bit weird as the lip sync is definitely not there where the character's mouth continues with no voice. Heroics. Captain's orders. 
Is that clear? But... <sighs> hey, come on now. Maybe the captain is a teensy bit overprotective. But you're new, and if you bite off more than you can chew, we're all in trouble. It's the right call. Roger, Captain. The voice acting is preferred, however, as I hate to try to read more subtitles during battles. Although the battles can get a bit out of control at times, and I wish it easier to follow your character in the chaos, the game is still very responsive and easy to play, and challenges you to do much more within the game. Astro Chain gets an 8.75 out of 10 for its excellent combat system combined with RPG system that is easy to follow with an intriguing original story. The game well puts you through the action paces, but isn't Platinum's best, but definitely up there. That's it for me on this look at Astro Chain. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.